Hi, hello, welcome. So, I'm gonna get right into it. Um, somebody decided to come out with a foundation that looks exactly like this little guy here, which we all know. I am very excited about this one because I have been using the concealer almost ever since it came out and I am absolutely in love with it. It even like um, replaced some of my favorite some of my all-time favorite concealers. So I was really excited to see this. Today is Thursday and I saw this on a Monday and I was like, oh my God, have I been living under a rock? Like I didn't know that they were coming out with this. So as soon as I saw it, I placed my order immediately because we have no time to waste. I want to see if this works. I always get so excited when it comes to like face products, like foundations, concealers. <sighs> Oh my god, it's just so exciting. So, they have also come out with a super size version of the found not the foundation, the concealer, a super size version of the concealer because I know I wasn't the only one that was complaining about the size of this. I mean, I run out so fast. I was just shook the first time. I was like like how this demo slash review is going to be a little different than the ones that I've done in the past because it is already 10 o'clock in the evening and I have a very very early morning tomorrow I have to start working at 8 o'clock in the morning so I need my sleep so I'm not going to be able to do the wear test right now because girl I need to get some sleep I haven't slept a lot like last night and I, and I know I'm just gonna be a zombie tomorrow if I don't get my sleep so what I'm gonna do I am going to do the demo right now and then I am going to wash my face straight after this demo and then tomorrow morning I am going to wear this foundation with exactly the same products that I'm gonna use now just so that it is exactly the same and then I'm probably going to take my vlogging camera with me just to let you know how it goes throughout the day because I have a 10 hour shift tomorrow so it is going to be a long as day. <laughs> The foundation has 23 milliliters, which is 0 0.8 fluid ounces, um, which is a 7 milliliters less than a usual standard size um, foundation. So that is kind of a bummer. Um, I, I just always want my full fluid ounce. Just give me my full fluid ounce. In the concealer, there is 13 grams of product, which is um, 0 0.45 ounces is that also like in weight as well as in fluids I, I don't know I'm not from the States so I don't know 13 grams and then I have the little one here so I'm going to put them side by side for you so that you can see like it doesn't look that much bigger when you look at it right now but the little one has 3.4 milliliters and then the large one has 13 grams so they refer to this one in milliliters and then to the large one in grams I don't know how to calculate that but I have heard that this one has three times more product in it than the little one which is great and um, I got mine of, of the revolution um, website because this hasn't come out yet in Holland so and I couldn't wait I just couldn't wait so I ordered it straight from the source yeah. okay so the foundation comes with this huge doe foot applicator uh, and it was kind of funny because I was watching a review I don't remember the name of the person that I was watching but she was reviewing this foundation as well and then she said that she thought that the doe foot applicator idea was very unique and very original and that she didn't see anything like it before and I was like Okay, I mean, hello. Okay, okay, so I applied just a little bit just to see if the color has the right undertone for me, and it is just a little bit off. I just wish that this color was just a little bit more yellow than it is. One, two, three. So the coverage is amazing so far. but the undertone uh such a bummer always like okay so this is foundation 
and then no foundation, foundation, no foundation. So let's see how far we get with one pull and three strokes. This is the perfect place for you to see what I mean by it's not yellow enough for me. I don't know if you can see it on camera as well as I do in person, but here you can see that it is just a little bit too neutral for me. It's, it has like a little bit more peachy, rosy undertones and that is just a bummer. So this is one pull, three strokes. Not bad at all. Okay, so they say that it is semi-matte and I'm gonna have to agree with that because it is matte but I can still see like a glow on my skin which I don't mind as long as it's not shiny because I do have combination oily skin. Now moving on to concealer, I am going to be using the large one which makes no sense because I, I have the same color in the small one but I just, I just want, it, it's just for video purposes, okay? This is really weird. I applied the large super size C12 and as I said, I use this concealer all the time, the small one, but I've never felt this. I feel like a very dominant burning sensation underneath my eyes and I've never felt this with the smaller concealer. So I don't know if they have changed something in their formula, but this is very weird and I just don't like the feeling of this at all. This is C12. And then on top of it, I applied the foundation in F12. I must say that there is a slight difference in the colors. I don't know if you can see it, but the foundation does seem to have a little bit more uh, golden undertones than the concealer. Okay, so now to highlight, I'm using a C7. So right now I'm using the Laura Mercier powder to set underneath my eyes. So now I'm gonna set my face with the MAC Studio Fix in C40. So not NC, but C40. This one is a very yellow shade and it really matches my skin well and I just hope that I can give it more yellowness. Now I'm gonna bronze with the Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder in Dark. Okay, so that goes on very smooth, I must say. So this is what the foundation looks like with setting powder and bronzer and ridiculous looking brows. So yeah, I guess that was it for this part of the video and you will see me tomorrow, which is right now. Good morning everyone. So I'm kind of halfway in my car. So this is how everything looks. Okay, it's seven o'clock in the morning. I have to go. See you soon. Okay guys, so I'm now in the bathroom hoping to get better lighting. It is now 8.20 in the morning and this is how it's looking. It looks kind of good actually. So I went outside. It's kind of noisy so I hope that you can hear me properly. Ooh, I'm trying to get some lighting situated here. This is how it's looking. It is now 11.30. So it has been, I've put the foundation on at 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30 and 11.30. It has been five hours. And it started to get a little shiny, like around my nose, just a little bit. And then my smile line, I have just one on this side. It's kind of creasing. But other than that, it is looking pretty good. Hi guys, so it is seven minutes past six and I'm finally done working. I am finally done working, you guys. It has been a very long day. I have been wearing the foundation right now for over 11 and a half hours. Um, so that is a very long time. This is how it's looking. I'm getting you real close and personal. So I am kind of shiny around my nose and right here it, it is kind of starting to break up and also like right here on my chin I can see that it is starting to break up as well but if you would consider the fact that I have been wearing it for over 11 and a half hours it does not look bad at all it actually looks pretty good um, 
everything is still on i'm sorry guys i'm a little bit out of breath because i had to walk over here and it's so windy outside and i was trying to, to you know to walk fast so i'm kind of out of breath but as you can see my bronzer is still on there my highlighter is still on there um everything is still put nothing has budged nothing has moved so it's just the t-zone that is shiny which is not a big deal it's something that i have all the time so yeah that's how the foundation is doing by the way guys if you're wondering what lip i am wearing i'm wearing the maybelline superstay matte ink and this one this one is in the color 75 and it's called a fighter and I must say it really is a fighter because I didn't touch my lips ever since I went out of the door this morning so I have been wearing this as long as I have been wearing the foundation I did eat I did drink hot and cold I drank coffee I drank some water um, and this is how the lips are looking so that is really impressive as well I really like these guys yo i am so tired right now like you don't even understand so let me show you what time it is it is yep that's the time it's almost 9 30 p.m i have been wearing this foundation for how many hours is that my god i'm way too tired to do math right now so 6 30 until 6 30 is 12 hours and then 13 14 15 hours wow that's a lot of hours so as you can see my eyes have creased and that is because i wasn't wearing any primer i was only wearing the revolution concealer on my eyes and i set it with the laura mercier powder um also it is creasing underneath my eyes as well but i know that that is not because of the concealer i know for a fact that, that is because of the laura mercier powder i really like the powder but it still makes my under eyes crease after a while the only powder that does not do that to me like ever is the uh ben Nye banana powder that one i can wear it for super duper freaking long and it doesn't budge so it definitely looks very shiny like around my nose and next to my nose and um, on my chin it looks shiny as well and then around my eyebrows but that is very normal like for 15 hours of wear I would expect this foundation to do much worse so I am kind of very positive about this foundation it looks pretty good considering how long I have been wearing it so I actually have nothing bad to say about this foundation except for the undertones again I wish it was a little bit a lot more golden not a little bit a lot more golden than it is but other than that I have nothing nothing I have nothing 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 you know make me this is what it looks like after blotting with the beauty blender and then applying powder on top of it so I'm actually pretty shocked that it worked out this way I really thought that the foundation would start to shift when I would like pat the uh, sponge on top of it but it didn't do any it didn't do any of that so after around 24 hours it is finally time to finish up this video I started yesterday at around 10 p.m. and it is exactly 10 p.m. right now so if you did enjoy this video then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I hope that you found it helpful if you have any questions you can always leave them down below in the description box and if you would like to see more of my future videos then hit that subscribe button and by the way if you do decide to hit that subscribe button just go ahead and hit that notification bell I know YouTube is like making this such a pain but if you want to be notified whenever I post a video then the notification bell is the bell for you and I hope that I will see you in my next video bye